and welcome back to the master bedroom, the Bose SoundLink Flex. I am going to unbox it, set it up, and then review it. But first, I'm gonna tell a story. If you wanna get straight to the Bose SoundLink Flex, you need to skip to the next chapter. If you want to get to the setup, that's two chapters. If you wanna to get to the stereo setup, oh, three chapters. And finally, the, the overall review is the chapter after that. So I've been traveling a long time and 12 years ago, I bought a Jawbone Jambox when it first came out. It's a, it's a great, it was a great little Bluetooth speaker. By the way, still is, except mine doesn't work anymore. Hence the story of why I had to go find a new one. But it came in this little uh, easy to remove cover. Yeah. <laughs> and you could, it's rechargeable, you plug it, you know. Well, y'all know what a Bluetooth speaker looks like. It, at least you should. It looks like one of these. So this is the jam box and I loved it. In fact, I loved it so much that if, when I moved to this house, at the old house, I had a surround sound set up, run through the walls in my master bedroom. But over here that had not been, those wires had not been run for me. So I had to come up with another way to get music to go to sleep by. So I bought the big jam box, which I can't hold up because it's sitting over there next to my bed where it has been since pretty much since I lived in this house. It looks just like the little jam box, only it's gigantic. It's about eight of these. And I love my jam box. And it, 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 it's gone on the road with me forever and ever. The last couple of trips, it started acting up. It, it, it would get staticky and, it, you know, and the Bluetooth connection. Basically, it started failing. Slow fail, but failing. So I did what we all do and what you may be doing right now is watching YouTube videos to see, well, what would be a good replacement for the jam box by Jawbone? They're not who they used to be and they don't really make this, this stuff anymore. So I needed something new. So I watched a whole lot of YouTube videos about Bluetooth speakers. And the one that everyone talked about that seemed to be the de, de facto favorite was this little guy, the Bose SoundLink Flex. It's a regular old little speaker, very similar in size to the Jawbone. It's got the same kind of buttons on the top, but it has some things that the Jambox doesn't have, which we'll get to in a little while. But it has very good sound. It's waterproof, I mean, and it floats, so you can like, you can drop it in the pool. When you're out in your pool thing, you can just drop it in the pool with you and it'll float around making music. It has a, uh, a metal cover and then it's kind of rubberized on the other side. It's got a little hook so you can hang it up. And by the way, according to all their publicity materials, it knows if it's what position it's in. So if it's hanging up, it changes the tonal quality if it's lying down. So no matter whatever position it's in, it changes the tonal quality. Well, that's that Bose, you know, processing magic stuff that they always brag about. It's got a little port on the back so you get a little extra bass. So I bought one. And this, it went with me to Texas. It's been near Bucky's. I didn't take it with me to Bucky's, but it was at my sister's house. So it's been to Katy, Texas. It worked great. I, I went to see my brother and sister-in-law in Arkansas and went with me there. It works great as a travel speaker. It fits into my Peter McKinnon bag, just great. So it's fantastic. But I never did a video about it because it's just a stupid little, you know, Bluetooth speaker. Now, by the way, there are videos that, that I watched, which are like where they compare it to, you know, this versus this and this versus this, or they'll have three or four. And by the way, most of those shootouts, this one is the eventual winner. So that's why I bought it. But I'm not going to give you a shootout. But after I bought it and took it on the road, this sounds great. Not only does it sound better than my old jam box, it sounds better than the big jam box and it's smaller. So the fact that it, this little thing sounds better than that big old thing sitting by my bed, I went, well, yeah, but that, that, that wasn't enough. What convinced me was 
these things, if you have more than one, can be linked with their app. And if you link them, they have two ways of linking. The first way of linking is called party mode, where basically all of them that are linked will all play the same music. So you can like have them around, like outside, you can put, put them around your yard or around the pool or wherever, or floating in the pool, but you can have a bunch of them linked together in party mode, all playing the same music. I don't have parties. I'm an old man. But the other way they link is stereo mode. So you can link one of these to another one of these in stereo mode. And now when you play your music from your phone or, or your iPad or whatever, the left side will play out of one and the right side will play out of the other. They will be in stereo mode. Well, I said, well, now that is worth buying a second one. And if I'm spending the money on another one of these, well, then I'm gonna get a video out of it. So that's where this one comes in. But I've had this for, for, for some time and, and love it. it the, the quality is great. And again, I'll demo it in, you know, later. But I wanna, and this is the one I'm gonna unbox clearly because this one's out of the box. So I'll unbox this one. And then this one's already set up, but I'll use the app to add this one and link them and to put them in stereo mode because see this way I can put one on one side and one on the other side of my bed and I will have stereo, which is by the way, what I had at the old house where I had the wires run. I had a speaker on, on either bedside table. So now I'm going to have that again. So that's the story of how I came to buy it. Let's all join those people who skipped ahead and let's get to the unboxing. So it comes in this nice little box. By the way, it had little, it had little things along here that I had to cut with a razor. And there is the speaker and a little cord. Well, let me get the speaker out. So there's the speaker. Now, when I say little cord, I literally mean little because look, that's what is that, a foot, foot and a half, which is not long enough for my purposes because I want to plug it in there next to the bed. And so I bought a couple of uh, USB-A to USB-C cords from Amazon, and that's what I will use to plug it in. And then it comes with quite a set of manuals. It comes with a quick little startup guide. First thing to do is download the app. And then it comes with a product manual in 150 languages. So it, while it looks very thick, there's very little information in there. Before we start the setup, I just want to quickly show you, this is the jam box and this is the Bose. Sound like flex. There are the tops. And here you have the pairing and, 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 and on and everything buttons are on this end, where it's it will actually that. And here we have volume up and down. Here we have volume up and down. So it's laid out very similarly, but as you can tell, it's considerably smaller and not nearly as good sound quality. Of course, now it's like zero sound quality because it doesn't work. Now, while we're, while we're comparing, let me show you the big boy. This is the big jam box, which as you can see is substantially larger. I'll flip it onto its side. So it's much bigger, yet the base is better on this little guy. So let's set it up. Now, if you go to the handy dandy little booklet, it says start here. It tells you to download the app, charge it, which I have done, press the power button, and then we're off with the app. It's not going to, it doesn't tell you anything more. So let's start the Bose Connect app. And it will have a little picture of the thing. And it says, oh, well, I think first I need to turn one on. Battery 100%. Ready to connect. To start setup, 
download the Bose connector. So see, if you, t if you pr press the button and you haven't downloaded the app, it'll tell you to download the app. So you pull down, and it says Pair Product. It says open the Settings menu on this device and tap on Bluetooth. So I go to Settings, tap on Bluetooth, and the Bose Flex Sound Link appears, which I then click on. Connected to iPhone. And now it's connected. So that is step one, and while I can't play you music, I can give you some white noise so you'll know it's working. So that one's working. Now, step two. Battery 100%, ready to connect. The start setup, download the first connector. Okay, so now I don't want to connect this to the phone. I want to connect it to the app, to, which will connect it to the other speaker. And you set your language. I'm going to call the first one Lefty. Okay, and you can do all this other stuff. There's a product tour, etc. So now I want to connect this one. So I hit that button, party mode. Find a speaker. Found it, it's connecting it to Lefty. Party mode. Stereo mode. Left. Right. So now it's in stereo mode. Now that was a lot of steps to go through to get it to there on the app. But what about if we do it, try to do it without the app? Because you can. So let's turn them off. Post speakers unlinked. Battery 100%. Connected to iPhone. Turn on both speakers you want to play. Battery 100%. Connected to iPhone. Battery 100%. Ready to connect. So on the speaker connected to your device, Bluetooth plus volume up. Press the Bluetooth and volume down buttons simultaneously on a second Bose device. Bluetooth and volume down. Seconds later. Party, party, party mode. mode. So now it's in party mode, but you see that took a long time. Now you're still not done to get into stereo mode because you have to go through party mode. So now we have to simultaneously, on either speaker apparently, volume, Bluetooth and volume up. And it goes into, and it goes into stereo mode. Okay, that is not acceptable. Either using the buttons or using the app, it's a whole bunch of steps to get it. You have to go through. You have to turn it on. You have to link the other one every single time. Now, if it would remember and like you just turn them both on and they go back to stereo mode, I would recommend this incredibly highly. But I just, I can't, I can't recommend it. It doesn't do what I need it to do. The app knows we're in party mode, and now it knows we're in stereo mode. So the app will co communicate with the speakers. But again, the whole setup process for this, uh, go, the going through party mode to get to stereo mode is a sl small part of the problem because it adds a lot of time. And when you're using the buttons here on top, Again, you saw there's like a 10 second delay and then another 10 second delay and then another. So you have to spend like over a minute setting it up. So I will not be using these things in stereo mode. In fact, I will be returning the new one to Amazon because it's useless to me.
I can use either, I can use the other one, I can use the one, and if I want to replace the jam box, which I don't need to because it's still the big jam box, I can do that, but I don't need to have two. I can put the other one, the, the, the original one, I put back in my Peter McKinnon case, uh, you know, backpack for, for take, so I, I can take one on the road for me and I'll use the jam box, the big jam box. And if the, what, the one in here ever dies, well, then I might spend another $150. Oh, by the way, you need to know that this linkage works with any of the Bose Bluetooth speakers. This is just one of the models they sell. They have a lot of them that will link. So especially in party, so party mode works great in a lot of them. And I think you can do stereo mode in several. So, but again, you saw what a pain in the ass it was to set up. Two days later. I have tried the Soundlink Flex by my bed. The sound is excellent. It's better than the big jam box. But is it $150 better? No, it's not. Now, if the stereo thing, as we saw in the setup, because when you go to reuse a, a, one of these, the, the, the Soundlink Flex, you just tap the button and it reconnects to your phone and it's off and running. And like, it, like all Bluetooth speakers work that way. That's the way the jam box works. That's the way they all work. You turn them on, they connect, they start playing music. Awesome. Now, if the second Soundlink Flex, if I could just tap that button and have it reconnect to the other one, that it had previously been paired with and immediately go into stereo mode, well, I would be keeping this and I would be have one on either side of my bed. But as you saw in the setup, every single time, so every night when I went to bed, I would have to either get the app out on my phone and go through all those steps, and as you saw, they take a bit of time, or use the buttons on top, but as you saw, that takes even longer because you have to hold them down for 10 seconds and then let go, and then sometimes you gotta do it again. Great single speaker. And party mode is probably worth it if, you know, if you're gonna have parties and stuff. But the stereo mode is just too comp. If it would remember, like I said, if it would remember and relink, if I could just tap one, tap the one on one side and then tap the one on the other side of the bed and have it go back the way it was, I would have one of these on either side of my bed for the rest of my life. That's not that long, <laughs> for all we know. I am a big fan of this as a travel companion for on the road, taken with you, sitting by your bedside at the ho in the hotel or in the guest room at your, at your family house. Fantastic, love it. The stereo mode, way too much trouble. And then, I mean, it's, and it's good, but it's, it's just, it's so much trouble. I, we don't, I don't, when you buy a Bluetooth speaker, you want to press the button and have the music. And that's what this does, unless you want stereo mode. And then it's, because you also then have to cycle through. That's why if it could remember. So, Bose, if you're listening, fix it so that when you press one on the second one, it remembers that it was paired, the one it was paired to, and sees it again and goes, oh, okay, you want to go back into stereo mode. And just tap the button and it goes back into stereo mode. I will gladly buy this again, but I am returning it because it does not operate the way I expected it to. That's it for this week. Oh, by the way, if you're looking into stereo, you might look into uh, these guys, Marshall. They also make Bluetooth speakers. They're very famous for their amplification equipment. I mean, for you know, bands and stuff on stages. But they make little Bluetooth speakers, by the way, which look like little Marshall amps. They're adorable, but they're very pricey. That's why I did not go with one. And if, if you watch, then there's some YouTube videos where you can watch comparisons between the Bose Sound, Soundlink Flex and the, the Marshall Bluetooth speakers. And the Bose typically won almost every one of those I saw. Bose Soundlink Flex for travel, yes. My highest recommendation. It's fantastic. For stereo mode next to your bed, no. Not even close to good enough. I mean, the quality is great once it connects, but I don't have an extra minute or two to spend every night before I go to bed to set it up again and again and again. So big thumbs up for the sound quality, big thumbs down for the ease of use on the stereo mode. 
So if you just want one, they're fantastic. I highly recommend go out and buy one. So that's it for, for me. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.